Nisha here and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be reviewing some new products that I picked up from Natural Club. Natural Club has been out for a little bit now and I just never got my hands on them. They were on my Black Friday list which if you haven't checked out my Black Friday wish list video I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards you know. But I figured I would go ahead and review these products for y'all because I know that many of y'all said that Natural Club was on your Black Friday list. And they had a really good sale a couple of weekends ago and I shared it here in my like community tab. Whenever I see sales, I do try to share it in my community tab for you all. They had like a 40 per up to 40% off sale and everything that I got I think was at least 40% off, 30 or 40% off. Sometimes sis don't want to wait for Black Friday. Sis don't want to be fighting y'all to get these products. So... We went ahead and did what we had to do. I am gonna get started in a little bit, but first, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, so if you're subscribed, you don't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this review. Okay, also my hair is nice and cleansed. I did a clay wash, and I used the good old Aztec Indian Healing Clay the bentonite clay with some apple cider vinegar and it did wonders for my hair. Now I'm gonna go in with the deep conditioner. This is the dry hair solution deep conditioner. It comes in a package and not like a normal jar. Like most deep conditioners comes in and it's only, I just hit myself, it's only four ounces. I already know I'm about to use this whole entire thing. I did get a little like sample of this as well, a two ounce. I didn't unthaw that. Oh, by the way, I ain't mentioned you gotta put this in the freezer. It recommends that you put it in the freezer. So I, as soon as I got it, I put it in the freezer and I just unthawed it today. But I did not unthaw the two ounce. So hopefully this will be enough for my hair. As far as ingredients go, what really intrigues me is that these products are avocado based. I know some of the hair products that I use, like a few of them have avocado, but none of them are like avocado based. So the first ingredient is avocados, water, shea butter, coconut oil, olive fruit oil, glycerin, tea tree oil, lavender essential oil, vitamin E, citric acid, and gore gum. So it does have shea butter, it does have coconut oil, it does have glycerin, it does not have any protein, and it doesn't have any aloe vera juice either. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this open. Obviously the claims are to moisturize dry hair. Oh. I was not expecting it to be this color. This is what it looks like. So you can definitely tell that there's avocado in there. I, for whatever reason, wasn't expecting for it to be this color. But now that I see it, it makes all the sense for it to be this color because it's avocado based. It's not super thick. It's nice and creamy. So gonna go ahead and apply it. Hmm, it kind of smells citrusy a little bit. It definitely smells earthy as well. Avocados really don't have a smell to me, so I can't say it smells like avocado. But it has a pretty good smell. It's really like quickly absorbing into my hair. This can be messy. I just don't like the packaging. It does have tons of slip though. Ugh, this feels so good. Like... I wasn't really sure what to expect. I know I've heard really good things about it, but still, I still be a little, a little cautious though. A little skeptical sometimes, but it feels so freaking good. All right, y'all, so that is the first section. Like I said, so far, so good. It feels really good. It's just hard kind of controlling how much comes out of the package. I don't know, this pouch, I just don't like it. But anyways, I'm going to continue to put this throughout my hair and then I'll be back once I've applied it to all my beautiful strands. <laughs> 
I gotta see y'all in a little bit. I'm done applying the deep conditioner throughout my head. This thing is sucked dry, ain't nothing left. I squeezed all the contents that I could out. I thought I was gonna run out, but I didn't. Come to think of it, why didn't I go ahead and unthaw the little two ounce and use it for my head? Because my hair definitely isn't as saturated as I would like for it to be, because I typically go, typically go heavy handed with deep conditioners. And then what am I gonna do with a two ounce? Like, what am I about to do with that? I'm gonna have to mix it with something else. So I have applied this all throughout my head. It feels really good. I did notice that it weirdly started to like lather up a little bit. At first I wasn't really seeing the lather. I was more so hearing it as I was applying it. And then I kind of saw it a little bit, but nothing crazy. The instructions say for this deep conditioner to sit for 20 to 40 minutes, rinse thoroughly with water. I am going to apply heat though because I am low porosity, so I will go ahead and do that and then I'll be back once I've rinsed this deep conditioner out. Oh wait, hold on. I was going to talk about price and stuff. Sorry. Hold on. For a four ounce, Regular price, this deep conditioner is $13. Now we know typically deep conditioners come in, in at least eight ounces. So for an eight ounce for two packs of this, it is $26, which is very expensive for an eight ounce deep conditioner. When it comes to price, I think this is on the expensive side, even getting it on sale. I think I might've paid like nine dollars or something nine dollars for only four ounces still is kind of steep especially because this obviously only lasted me one use not the biggest fan of the price and ounce ratio but i don't spend the money now so it is what it is i will go ahead now and um deep condition my hair and then i'll come back once i've rinsed it out i'm back from rinsing my hair out and my hair feels so moisturized. I did notice that this deep conditioner really defined my curls and also weighed down my curls. Typically, at this point, I would have a lot more shrinkage, but I let it dry in the t-shirt for like 10 minutes and I still have lots of moisture, lots of curl definition, and lots of like hang time. Next, we're gonna move into the leave-in. This is their Nourishing Avocado Leave-In Conditioner. This also has a pretty short list of ingredients. I'll go ahead and read them out for you. It has water, and then it has something called Propanediol, P-R-O-P-A-N-E-D-I-O-L. And I actually had to look it up. According to Google, it is skin-friendly preserved preservative boosting humectant for all kinds of formulations. So it's a humectant. So similar to like glycerin or honey, there is avocado oil, coconut oil, capric triglyceride, some I can't pronounce, barisca alcohol, soteral alcohol, castor seed oil, something else I can't pronounce something else I can't pronounce, glycerin and natural fragrance blend. So this does contain coconut oil and it does contain glycerin and it does obviously contain avocado oil, but it doesn't have any shea butter, it doesn't have any protein, and it doesn't have any aloe vera juice. This leave-in is excellent for preventing frizz and aids in hair repair. Doesn't really have a smell. This is what she looks like. Very similar to lots of other leave-ins that I use. Nice and creamy. All right. Um, I can feel the moisture a little bit. I don't know, right off the bat, it just doesn't wow me. I don't know, let me add some more. I mean, it's absorbing into my hair. It's definitely not sitting on top, but I just was expecting, I guess, a little bit more moisture. The leave-in has been applied throughout my head. I also went ahead and did the side part. I let the leave-in sit for a little bit as well, like five minutes or so. To me, this doesn't have much slip, but it also doesn't claim to be like a detangler either. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to stylers. So I also picked up the Thirst Quenching Avocado Hair Moisturizer. It says that this light yet potent moisturizing cream effortlessly revitalizes hair while it hydrates and repairs 
The results are bouncy coils and curls. For best results, to pair with the Natural Clubs Avocado Curl Custard, which I do have here and I'm gonna show you in a second. Even though this has a short list of ingredients, I play myself on the leave-in with the words that I didn't know, so I'm just going to tell you that it does have avocado oil, it does have glycerin, glycerins. Towards the beginning, but on the lower end of the beginning of the list of ingredients, I did notice that I don't see any butters unless some of these scientific names are butters and I just don't know it and it just doesn't have it in parentheses. At least from what I can see, it doesn't have any shea butter, there's no protein, there's no aloe vera juice, and then on top, I do have the medium hold avocado curl custard. This is an eight fluid ounces. Um, basically the leave-in and the moisturizer are eight fluid ounces as well. So as far as the claims, it seems that it has medium hold and is also going to make my hair bouncy and shiny. Glycerin is the second ingredient. It has aloe vera juice, which is the fourth ingredient. It has avocado oil, it has castor seed oil. So it has hydrolyzed cornstarch, but I don't believe that that is protein. Correct me if I'm wrong. But to my understanding, it doesn't have any protein. It doesn't have any coconut oil, shea butter. So I am just gonna apply each of these section by section. I think I might do another tweet out. I told y'all tweet outs have been my thing lately. So this moisturizer actually does have a smell and it is a lot more liquidy than the leave-in. Yeah, it smells fruity. It smells really good. It's probably the best smelling product out of all these products. I can tell that in combination with this leave-in, my hair does feel really moisturized. So the custard has like a flip top. This is what it looks like. But so far, there's lots of slip on this, and it's defining my curls really well. I don't see any weird mixing, like congealing or anything with the other two products. All right, this is what my tweed is looking like thus far. Looks and feels really good. I'm gonna keep applying these two products to my hair and then I will be back once we are all tweeted up. So I'm done tweeting up my hair and this is what my hair is looking like. It feels nice and moisturized. Adding the custard on didn't take away from the moisture that I'm feeling from both the leave-in and the moisturizer. I'm going to let these bad boys marinate for a couple of days. Feeling good about this tweet out, so I'll see y'all in a couple of days. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I have obviously let my hair dry for a couple of days. I've taken it down, I've fluffed, separated, all of that good stuff, so let's just go ahead and talk about these products because my hair looks bomb. I really do like it. It's nice and shiny and defined and moisturized and all that good stuff. So first we have the Dry Hair Solution Deep Conditioner. I really did like this. I felt like it was super moisturizing for my hair. Um, it made my hair soft. I had nice slip. It instantly penetrated my hair as well. I could definitely tell that my hair was just absorbing it right on contact. I don't like the sizing and I don't like the packaging because as you can see, I used this up and the pricing isn't that great for the quantity that you get in my opinion. Would I pick this up again on sale? I would full price, I probably wouldn't because this is just a one and done for me. If it's not on sale, I don't know if it's worth it, to be quite honest. It's good, but just the amount. I just need more. I need more of this. Next is the Nourishing Avocado Leave-In Conditioner. I wasn't sure how I felt about this when I first put it on my hair. I wasn't blown away. Usually, 
I can tell very quickly if I'm gonna like a leave-in. This provided moisture, but I wasn't blown away. Um, my hair definitely does feel moisturized. I'd have to keep playing with this, but for now, it was just okay for me. What I do love, though, is this Thirst Quenching Avocado Hair Moisturizer. First off, it smells so good. It smells really citrusy. The rest of the products don't really have a smell. The mask has a slight, like, citrusy smell, but this one smells so good and it like saved the day because i was like dang my hair not gonna smell like juices and berries i'd just be going about my day and then i'd get a whiff of it and i'd be like "Ooh, what is that like is that like my shirt is that my laundry detergent or something and then i'd be like oh wait that is my hair it definitely combined with the leave-in gave me so much freaking moisture i will say that i don't know about this alone but paired with this moisturizer super Super moisturizing it's nice and light and thin but even though it's light and thin in texture it provides so much moisture so I definitely highly recommend this I think this is on the pricier side let me see how much it is regular price yeah, this regular price is $24, so definitely expensive, but I actually think it is worth the $24. Like, it is really amazing, and if you can get it on sale, that's even better. And then lastly, we have the Medium Hold Avocado Curl Custard. I really did like this. I think this is what added the extra shine to my hair. I don't know if it's coming off cam on camera, but my hair is really shiny. It helps with the definition my hair definitely has a medium hold my hair is not crunchy but I can tell that there's a hold that my hair is going to last for a while so overall I'm pretty pleased with natural club deep conditioner I wish it came in a bigger size the leave-in is okay for me but the rest of the collection amazing and I will continue to use these products y'all like my hair looks so good and i've noticed i don't know if y'all have noticed some a few of you have commented and said that you've noticed that my styles come out better now that i've gotten that trim and i agree a hundred percent like i think after the first couple of twist outs or whatever styles i was doing twist outs braid outs i was like dang my hair looks so good like just the shape and just the healthiness like it's thick all the way through I don't really have any scraggly ends or anything like if y'all are going through it with your hair definitely check out this playlist that I'll link above in the cards of how I got my hair back to life because over the spring and summer I was not feeling my hair at all it just was bleh. I took a few steps to get my hair back to health which included a good old trim my hair looks so good that is it for this video also, if you're curious about my lip, I will um, link it down below in the description box for you in case you're interested. I'll try to do that um, from now on just in case people are wondering, you know, what lip color I'm wearing. It's also black owned as well. So that's always a plus. We are here for it always and forever. But anyways, that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried Natural Club. Let me know what products that you enjoy. They also dropped a new avocado and kiwi collection that I'm interested in as well. So just let me know your thoughts. You know, I love to talk to y'all. I love to have conversations, see what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.